Hey guys, 9.36, just got in, didn't take any videos because I was rushing, rushing, um, did stop by Starbucks though, so I'm not going to have another cup of coffee until later, but, um, yeah, I got lots of stuff, so that's good, and then I couldn't find any poultry seasoning from the dollar store, so, um, I got some groceries for my family as well. Just the onion and the peppers, so I brought them that to them and then they gave me the poultry, so that's good. So that's where the uh <coughs> tofu is the marinating tofu that I was doing earlier. So poultry seasoning is actually not poultry. <laughs> I even Googled it just to make sure. So it is vegan and then they gave me another cucumber. So let's go ahead and buy any. So, yeah, I haven't taken stuff out of my bag yet, but I bought celery and I got two red peppers. So, um, I really didn't look at the price when I should have, but that's okay. I got the receipt, I think. And, let's see. Gotta get more stuff out of my shopping cart. So, yeah. So, dollar item spinach is $1.99. Red pepper was four seventy five. That's not bad because I got four. And then I gave some to my family. Uh, celery was $1.38, which is pretty good. Green onions, two for a dollar. I got a big bag of onions, two ninety nine. Green uh, beans for a dollar. Bean sprouts, ten cents. Wow. <laughs> uh, zucchini was a dollar three. Log eggplant was a dollar twenty seven. Ginger root was thirty cents. So just reading off the bill. <laughs> so not too expensive. So this is a spinach. <clears throat> <clears throat> the spinach was one ninety nine, so two bucks. A little more than what I usually pay, but like everything's gone up. So that's not too bad. I use it for soups. And then this I believe is the open item which was twenty nine cents. So that's pretty good. Oh and I also got green beans for a dollar the bag, so I'm going to add that to my Christmas dish because I don't have too many green beans, bean sprouts. In men's cooking always has bean sprouts. And then I got two green onions for a dollar. And yeah, so the eggplant was a dollar twenty-seven. But it's pretty huge. <laughs> and the zucchini was a dollar three. Which is probably my bag. And then I got avocado for a dollar for avocado toast. Ginger root was uh thirty cents and two buck two uh, no wait. Two ninety nine for a big bag of onions. Which is good because I just gave one to my family just and one onion, not all the onions. But I go through onions like crazy. And then that's that bag. Yeah. My nose has been running because of the cold. <laughs> so I've been blowing my nose. And I did go to Starbucks. But I needed the washroom, and then I went to Dirty Queen without using, buying anything to use a washroom. Oh, and I got a salad mix for a dollar. That's still pretty good. I looked at it, but I use it right away anyways. And I still have lettuce. I'm going to make a side dish. And this is a zucchini. So it's huge. <laughs> so a dollar and 30 cents. So I'm going to cut up. Eggplant, zucchini, a pepper, and some celery and carrots, which I still have, for uh, tofu scramble. 
And then I got lots of stuff. Actually pretty heavy. So all that for $17.59. So that's pretty good. Then I went to Dollarama. And I finally got these. Yay! So I paid $13.01 all together. So I got... Oh, it's so funny. They have this thing that you could buy for 5 bucks, And it's a cardboard box <laughs> that you build for the cats that comes with the scratching post. I'm like, you're paying 5 bucks for a box when you can make it yourself? <laughs> Josephine, you just take a box out. She just jumps right in. She's still on the bed, by the way. So I got her lots of stuff. So... <clears throat> Spoiling her like rotten because she's the only one that I have left, you know. So, first, I got her uh, with chicken and tuna for a treat because she, she's the only one left. No more speckles, no more hope. Then I wanted to get some more catnip, so I just got a catnip toy for $1.75. And then I put this on her catnip ball, and she plays with them, the toys. So she still plays with toys, unlike Speckles. And I also got the Triska Party Max, even though I have tons of treats. But I still don't know if I want to keep that red square thing yet. I probably won't because I don't think Josephine really goes in there. <clears throat> so, I haven't decided that yet. And then I bought beads so I could do the Hope keychains and Speckled keychains and stuff for my brothers. And this time I double checked that there's H and O and P. And e, so all the letters were there this time, and this was only a dollar twenty-five. So one colored one into the black ones, and these are all the ones that they have left. So I stacked up. <laughs> you gotta do a speckles bracelet too. Although I don't know if there's an S. Yeah, there's an S. So that'll be fun for tomorrow. I don't think I'll be doing it tonight. So they'll be coming soon. And by the way, let me know if you want, if you prefer a keychain or a bracelet. Because there's only so many that I have for the keychains. And then I got, yeah, that's it. And then I got three lighters for $1.25. Because <laughs> my lighters keep, my lighters keep dying on me. They had Bic lighters, but I hate the Canucks, <laughs> and I'm from Vancouver. I always buy lighters from the dollar store, so I had to buy a bunch of them. So yeah, that's everything that I got. And, oh, and I stopped by Vegan Fried Chicken Place, of course, but they didn't have... All they had for peanut butter stuff was a donut, and it was like 7 bucks. So instead, I got myself... A, oh, I forget what it's called now. <laughs> um, I think it's a cookies and cream fudge brownie. So that's what I got as a treat for me for my comfort food. Because I am sad. So sometimes it's good to have comfort food. And it's a brownie, I believe. I prefer that I was gonna get the Oreo cookie, but I kinda wanted to try the cookies and cream. Mm. Well, it's a bounty. So I only got one. I was gonna buy two, but I'm like, I only had $14 left to pay today, so I didn't spend everything. <laughs> So yeah, that's everything that I got. So now I'll have more salads. Next time I eat a salad, I'll actually show you guys the salads I eat. Because I actually have like iceberg lettuce. 
And then I put those salad dressing, chia seeds, hemp seeds, sometimes walnuts, because I have lots of walnuts, or peanuts. So, right now I don't have to make my own salad. I do have to make salad dressing though. And it's uh, another recipe by Yin Man Cooking. Oh, I'm going to say the top for you for the other thing. My nose is going crazy. So yeah, I'm out of catnip. So we'll see if Josephine plays with this. Once I find my scissors. <laughs> All the vegetables are on there. That's why I'm like, yeah, I could go to all the free community fridges, but half of the time they don't have stuff that I want. It's like carrots. And then I have to go all that way. But I could just go up to Fraser and have 20 bucks on me or $15 on me and then stock up on stuff that I want. I still haven't spent, I only spent $20 from my friend, so I'm going to put the rest, the rest is in savings. So I still have some money left over, so I only used the $20 that they gave me, and I put the rest back. And now Josephine's always spoiled, and I don't have to worry when I go out. That they're gonna fight. I think she likes being alone. Cause her and Speckles like never really cuddled or or hoped. They like sleep by each other, but that's about it. I think she's fine alone. So let's see the catnip. And then later I'll put the stuff away. So I got me some beads. So now I'm home. <clears throat> until I run out of pop. <laughs> we'll see that. Josephine! And I already got a vacuum. So I think I'm going to do that before I go to sleep. But I'm just going to vacuum the rest of this side of the living room. The hallway part. And then uh, the hallway of the food. Josephine, do you want your treats? Oh, she's coming. <laughs> That's for you. You want your toy? I think I have to put catnip on it for her she likes. Oh, her uh, catnip ball is in my bedroom. So that's why I have to vacuum this part. And then I'll put that back. Oh, she's playing with it though. Are you playing with your toy? Maybe I gotta put some catnip on it. Josephine! <laughs> she loves catnip. I sprinkled it on. Because even Speckles, his last days, I put the catnip up to his nose, and he smelt it, but he didn't really do anything. <laughs> Are you going nuts? So, she gets spoiled this way. <laughs> Are you going to go crazy? Go crazy. So yeah, I'm so thankful that I have friends, and like I said, sometimes I just wish I could sleep all day, but at the same time, I can't sleep all day, because even if I don't have Josephine, I still gotta look after myself, and like I said, I've been craving ribs, so I want to make the tofu ribs now. See, my family helps me out. <clears throat> People don't believe me sometimes. <laughs> Josephine. Are you the last one standing? I really thought Speckles was going to outlive us all because he was so healthy for so long. And then I was just like, I just put him down yesterday, so it makes sense why 
I was so tired earlier. I'm so tired. <laughs> Just being. <laughs> I just find it funny though because she gets the whole bed and she still only sleeps at the end of the bed because <laughs> Speckles would always get mad at her so I think she's kind of getting used to having the whole place to herself like she could go wherever she wants now she's never in the room anymore she's always out here so I think She's always in the room to get away from speckles, so this is kind of good for her. <clears throat> and people are like, why don't you get another cat so she's not lonely? Doesn't happen that way. With speckles, it took six months for me to get speckles to get along with all of them, and I have to keep... Cats don't just like each other right away. You have to, like, introduce them, and then... Um... I actually introduced, I actually saw, had to see him come in when I should have done it that way. I should have just hid them, but I wanted them to know, which I still think is the best way. They should know because they could smell it. But then Speckles was in my room, or Josephine's old room, Josephine's room. <laughs> And then he was in there for a couple of months, and then whenever they fight, then I had to keep closing the door on on him, and yeah, like, just because Josephine's by herself doesn't mean, oh, if I get another cat, they're going to like each other. Most likely, they're not going to like each other, so I'm going to have to, like, reintroduce them, and like I said, I don't want another cat, and I'm pretty sure Josephine doesn't want another cat, because with Hope... That was her sister, so that was different. They're born in the same litter. The speckles, they weren't really close at all. They'd sleep on the bed, but one be on one side and one be on the other side. And they'd fight quite a lot, so... I think Josephine is happy being on her own, right? She doesn't need any, any but thing else. That's why I keep telling people when they're like, Oh, they're gonna get another animal. I'm like, well, what are you gonna do when the cat doesn't like the other cat? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have that kind of patience anymore because of my conditions. Not like before, I didn't have conditions when I had speckles, so. Yeah. But at least now, just begin to get spoiled. <laughs> That's so funny. You could buy a box for $5 and put it together, and, there's, and it includes a scratching post. I'm like, just get a box. <laughs> Just get any box <laughs> and give it to the cat. So jump in, man. Doesn't have to be fancy. Five bucks. I was going to take a photo of that, but I didn't. I should have, though. Five dollars to buy a box. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will buy it just to see, like, if Josephine responds to it. Because it's like a cat house kind of thing. That's a cardboard box. But at Taito, you could get a cubby, cubby hole, uh, house for cats to jump in. And I was like, oh, maybe Josephine will like that, but at the same time, I just put out a box and she just jumps in it right away, so. <laughs> Buy a box for five dollars. <laughs> and then you have to build it. Although there is, uh, a few DUIs on YouTube, which I kind of want to try now that it's only Josephine. Where, I was actually going to do this when I had Hope. Where you could build your own cat house, condo kind of thing. Out of boxes. But then I ended up having the condition, so I couldn't do it. So, hopefully, that's one of my goals by the end of the year. Is to do that in a vlog. And it's on YouTube, so you'd be like watching it. But one thing at a time, <laughs> one thing at a time, can't over jump myself. So yeah, I'll do a short, but yay, we got, we have beads now. Yay. <laughs> can't believe it took so long to find it. <laughs> I was going through all the beads, so I'm like, there's no H, what the heck. So there's an H and O. Uh, there should be a P. Yeah, there's a P. And is there an E? 
Yeah, there's an E. So, I know at least there's one. <laughs> I don't know how many there'll be. That's why I got three. So, not too bad. For dollar twenty-five. So, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Or Monday. But it, probably tomorrow. Um, Chris said he might come by, so... We'll see. Um... Oh, she should be told I kind of don't really want people to come by. <laughs> I want to be left alone. But if he wants to come by, I'll let him come by. So I do kind of need to go to North Road, so then I know he could drive me down there and get some, use my last 15 bucks. <laughs> or they put $20 in, sa in my, uh, my own savings. Come on. You could jump. Come on, Jesse. You could do it. And we gotta make one of those collages for speckles. I was actually gonna buy a small frame and I completely forgot, so that's fine. We're gonna make a big a big one. At first I gotta vacuum because <clears throat> there's food on the floor. Cat food from speckles still. I don't know if you could see in the hallway how dirty it is. So I'm going to have to vacuum that. And then I'm going to have to vacuum this whole hallway. So i got to move the boxes. i got to move this pile too. But I'm not going to do that till tomorrow. Because I am getting tired again. Because I was out for a couple of hours. So, yeah. But I'm going to take Josephine out tonight. Because it's not raining, finally. It is freaking cold, though. I felt kind of bad that I could take speckles out when it was last night, but he didn't really want to go out or do anything. He just wanted cuddles. Right? And I haven't seen Josephine go in her, that room either. She just went in there to look. And that was it. So, yeah. Now I gotta put away the groceries. I saw the parsnips. And the other stuff that I gotta do, that I gotta do. So I did get myself some comfort food. And my nose, my nose. Where's my toilet paper? My nose is driving me nuts. But at least now Josephine is getting spoiled. That's what happens when you're the last one. <laughs> oh, and I also bought a Pepsi from Dollarama. But it's warm. I usually don't buy a cup pop Pepsi. Oh, now where am I going to put everything? I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I basically took out all the fresh produce, the older produce, and now I'm going to put the newer produce in the bottom, 
Oops. And I just forgot that. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to uh, buy another thing of tofu. Oh well, the yeah, small tofu. So then that way I just put the new the newer stuff in here so I know. But yeah, I got green beans for a dollar. So I boil these and cut them and just add them onto the other dish. And then I got spinach for two bucks. A little more pricey. Usually I get it for a dollar. But I got the celery for a dollar so I can't complain. <laughs> celery. It was actually pretty cool because when I was in Alberta they didn't really have any options for me when I traveled, but there was actually a small little store that you walk into when you're in his Alberta, which is where my family is, and you just go in there and you just pick your own fruits and vegetables and they're fresh and they stock it up every day, so this is 80 cents to have to use this up really quick, because it goes bad so quickly. So I'm probably going to make some bok choy. A bok choy, uh, chop suey. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had a thing where you just walk in there and you just grab the stuff yourself. There's nobody there. And then you just put money in there, which was pretty cool. So I stocked up on like so much stuff. So now I got new veggies for 20 bucks. Under $20 actually. So we're going to make roasted veggies, and then I got salad, so I'm going to make salad, but that's not going to be today because I'm getting tired. Oops. Ah, uh, I get just me. <laughs> that used to be speckled, but now Josephine still use it. I actually got that free from a Christmas hamper, actually. Yeah, a couple of years, I think it was last year. So I have a few of them around somewhere, or at least I thought I did. I was gonna, I am gonna marinate the tofu though, but I need my phone for that. But, <clears throat> one thing, oh, I'm not there. I'm gonna find you. You wanna get you, get you, get you, get you. <laughs> salad, see, I eat salad, eat one salad a day. That's what I want to Make that away. So, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. 10 10 so I'm probably going to take Josephine out. I'm going to do a short video and then I'm going to marinate the tofu and vacuum and go to sleep, eat and go to sleep because my legs are tired from walking. I was trying to get my shoes on when I went to go visit my family and they're like, and I told them, yeah, my foot, feet are swollen all the time now. They're so big so it's harder to get my shoes on. <laughs> So frustrating, but I am wearing my special socks, so that's good. But yeah, so like, comment, share, subscribe. It feels good having produce in the place. So like, even if you only have twenty bucks, go to the cheapest produce store. 
I grind and just stock up because that's what I do. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'll do this short, and then I'm going to take Josephine out, and then I'll talk to you guys before I take a nap here on Pet Stories Daily Vlogger.